Six engineers. I thought there was four. There's six. Bloody great. Look how much work has been done. I am Jeffrey Adinkola. I am a project manager for this build. I have 20 years experience for mechanical and piping for industrial, the shipbuilding, and I work uh, with Ostal. Uh, shipbuilding company in Australia. We build the aluminum vessel. Uh, there's the length up to 118 meters with the speed uh, maximum 40 knots. And I was also working in strategic marine for 10 years in Vietnam. We built the wing pump vessel the crew vessel and the uh, passenger vessel also with different clients around the world. Meanwhile, the crew on the floor are working up a storm. These guys can work. For my experience, I have worked for a shipbuilding company until now. That one is 17 years already. I working from 2006 when I graduated from university. I working for Hyundai Venetian Shipyard. That one is very big, steel shipyard in Vietnam. And after that, uh, 2011, and I working for Shetterich Marine Vietnam. That one is very big shipyard in Vũng Tàu. That one building on the aluminum structure. The shipbuilding very big. And I uh, during uh, around eight to ten years in uh, Sri Marine Vietnam, uh, I built many vessels, many kind of vessels. Um, Twenty-six meter, I will have to do it. Forty meter, seventy meter, and sixty meter. And also I do the last vessel I do in Sri Marine. That's one the eighty-five meter, which uh, still still hold and uh, supported by aluminum. How good is your engineering team and the crew on the work floor? Well, to answer that uh, question, I have to take you back to being who I am. Uh, I was a welder fabricator from the beginning for aluminum. And all my life just round, like go round about that kind of job. I've been traveling for different countries just for that reason that I have the experience to build aluminum vessel, aluminum boats. Now, going to the question why I think that my team can do the good job for this uh, boat that we are building now. Because first things first is that as a team leader, I have a good understanding about this uh, kind of work and then we have the experience, experiences, and then we have the uh, like the good, very good understanding of how the job will be done properly, according according to the international standard. This group, I knew them for a while, like almost seven years. Some of them like ten years. I know what's the capacity of these people that what they can do. And the only thing that I can say, and this is what I always said to the people that I know that we can build what do you like, we can do whatever do you want, 
for me, we are we have good and enough, not enough, more than enough capacity to build this kind of boats. I've been given the option of the dark helmet people. Do I want to go to the dark side? I don't know. I don't know. I think I prefer, I prefer being Luke rather than dark. Like, subscribe, comment. So, hello everyone. My name is Nyok. I'm an engineer and I have Almost six years experience in shipbuilding to make sure all the workers can follow all the project, uh, uh, products and all the procedure of this product. The work ethic of this crew and the Vietnamese people is phenomenal. They must go home exhausted. The pace does not relent. After one bulkhead or frame goes on, another one is already on its way. It's like a perpetual motion machine. And everything is checked and double checked. Okay, so I understand that this is laser cut. Yep. Is that correct? Uh, but all of the stuff that we've got out in the factory floor is plasma cut. Yeah. Is that, that correct? That's correct. All right, so give us a rundown on both and what we're trying to do or what you're thinking of doing. Uh, you can see the, the surface here. We're cutting by laser, that's why they look very nice. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's one the above. Yeah. And other side you can see. Yeah. I bring you some more example here. You see? Yeah. Oh, so it's very fine holes it cuts too. Yeah. Too small. Yeah. I think about only two mm. Two millimeters. Yeah. Yeah. And did it for steel? Yeah. And did it for stainless steel? Yeah. Both sides you can see above yeah. and below. Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So the verdict is the builder will be switching to laser cutting which leaves a cleaner finish. This is important with the shell plate covering the hull and deck which is to be cut soon. Despite laser being more expensive, the preparation of the hull and deck surface prior to painting will be reduced saving time and money. Is that from plasma cutting? Yes. Or this one from plasma cutting. Okay and why? Is that, is that from the bath? The, the water bath? Yeah. This is from water bath. Okay. And so the whole idea of you wanting to go into laser cutting is just to make a cleaner yeah. job. So uh, I want to make on my vessel, that's one is systemic bare material you can see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see here yeah. and here, yeah. very different. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I want my vessel to be like okay. this. Is that going to affect it though? No, that's one only for decoration issue, but for the tractor no problem. So basically it's just the surface, what it looks like after the cutting. I mean, in effect, if you know anything about aluminium, let's have a look at this over here. Um, there's a very, very durable, impermeable aluminium oxide layer right on it. And this is all smooth, as you can see, this, is been this has been affected by the plasma cutting too. Doesn't affect it structurally, it just makes it easier. Well, in the end run, as Mr. Tung was saying, it makes it easier to prepare the surface to make it look you know, schmick at the end. Anyway, it doesn't worry me in the slightest. It's aluminium, people. It's strong, it's light, and it's durable. If you'd like to be a part of the project or crew, then come and join up as a patron. Nearly all the rewards are trying to get you onto the boat, either for a day sail, a weekender, a week or two holiday, or for the ultimate experience to join us on one of the legs of the Elcano Challenge. There are wonderful places all around this beautiful world that you could come and visit me and the crew to kick back and see what it's really like.